Welcome back to Panel Data Analysis. In this video, we will learn how to choose between random effects model and uh, fixed effects model. Previously, we have looked into fixed effects model separately and also random effects model separately. So if you have not watched uh, the previous videos, you may want to go and watch them before you learn about how to choose between the two of them. So, choosing between fixed effects model and random effects model. The test that we have to perform is called the Hausmann specification test. In this test, the null hypothesis is that the random effects model is appropriate, is consistent. Um, but we also have the fixed the alternative hypothesis that says that the fixed effect model is consistent, is appropriate. So if you run the Hausmann test and the p-value is greater than 0.05, we accept the null hypothesis. And then to conclude that our data, uh, the random effects model is appropriate for our data, meaning that it's consistent and efficient. However, if the p-value of the test is less than 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the fixed effects model is appropriate for our data. So let's go to Stata and see how we can do that in action. We have been using the data set called the Panel Income Dynamics and uh, we showed how to retrieve it from Stata itself, as we can see here. So we will continue to use this data set to learn how to decide between fixed effects model and random effects model. So I have already loaded the data. If you have not loaded, you may want to load it and then we proceed. So the first thing we need to do is, is to run um, the fixed effects model. We first run fixed effects model. So I'm going to run it. Yeah, so we have the result as we, we had in the previous video. So we have the fixed effects model and this we all explained in the previous video. Then we, we, stay, we store these estimates. So we say that estimate store, we can name this anyhow you want it, but I decided to say FE, meaning fixed effects. So you run this command, estimates store FE. Then the next is to run the random effects model. So we have it here, equation. Yes. So we have run the two of them. So we also store a random effects model as RE. So estimate store RE. Yes. So the Hausmann test is just you just type Hausmann and you recall the FE and then the RE that we have just executed. We can find these at the last end of our data set. So we have them here. So we run Hausmann FE RE. And there we find the p-value to be less than 0.05 so the conclusion from from um, conclusion is that the fixed effects model is appropriate because the p-value is less than 0.05 so reject the null hypothesis so that is how to choose between um, fixed effects model and random effects model thank you for watching in the next video we shall look into the between uh, estimators.